guys, this is Jessie, and today is going, this time, it's going to be a very, very quick video because it's just my wrap up, and yes, I did not read that many books. Uh, but the first book I, <laughs> the only book I read in the month of January was Uprooted by Naomi Novik. This book was really good. I really, really enjoyed it. It was it was amazing. It's a little more adult, not so much young fantasy, maybe new adult, I don't know. I'm not into categorizing things, I also don't know how. Um, but yeah, it was super amazing. This book, I've heard it's already telling of Beauty and the Beast, and I can kind of sing to that. At the same time, I'm like, not really, like, at all. I don't know if that's a true thing that people say it's retelling of Beauty and the Beast, but that's what I somehow got in my mind. Really, it follows a girl named Agnieszka, and I hope I'm saying that right. Yeah, Agnieszka, and she lives in a valley that is surrounded by these deadly woods, and the only way they are protected from the woods is this wizard named the dragon, and every 10 years I think it is, yeah, he comes and takes a different girl from the village to his tower, and they don't see them until 10 years later, and then everyone thinks, what do you think they think? Yeah, I'll let you figure that out. Um, but in her village, her village is the next one to have a girl taken from them, because there's like a whole line of villages, I'm explaining this really well. But everyone thinks they know who um, the dragon is going to take. Did I say his name is the dragon? The dragon is the wizard. I don't know if I said that. I have to decide if you want to be with me or not. Anyway, they think they all know who the dragon is going to take, and that is Agnesha's friend, Cassia. And unexpectedly, when the dragon comes, he does not pick Cassia, he picks Agnieszka, and it kind of all goes from there. I don't want to tell you more because none of it's on the back. I'm telling you it was on the back. Anyway, I really loved it. It was amazing and fast-paced, and the magic was really interesting, and I liked it a lot. Um, I feel like I have to say a lot, but whatever. I really, really liked it. It did get slow, like, right in the middle, and then it picked right back up for me, and I really enjoyed it. So, love it. 10 out of 10 would recommend. I don't know what that means. Honestly. Now on to my currently reading. This is going to look very similar to my recently put up currently reading video, whatever it's called. Um, that is Dragonfly and Amber by Diana Gavaldon, second book in the Outlander series. I honestly guys don't want to say anything much about it. I'm reading this one really slow. It's huge. Um, and these are just about a woman named Claire Randall who goes back in time to the 17, late 1700s Scotland. Um, during the time of the Jacobites and their uprising and Bonnie Twitch Charlie the Pretender. Um, so yeah, these are really good. I'm like, I want to get into it more. I didn't read it that much. Um, but again, it's like really s big. So I'll take my sweet time with that one. The second one I'm actually almost done with, so I might finish it this month, and that is Korea, The Impossible Country um, by Daniel Tudor. It's about Korea, and it's actually, it's like economic, um, cultural, political development and phenomenon, and I'm really enjoying it. I'm taking notes. <laughs> I'm taking my sweet, sweet time with this one too. I'm underlying things. Um, but again, I am actually pretty close. Just do this, Jess. That's how much I have left. Um, so I'll probably finish it this month. We'll see. I hope you guys enjoyed this video because that is it. I only read one book. I know. I'm slightly ashamed. Hopefully I get more done. Um, I read two already, actually. So that's already more. <laughs> um, but... You'll see it in my next haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video once again. Tell me what books you read, what you think of the books I'm reading, um, currently reading, what I did read, um, what you're currently reading. I like, sure. <laughs> I'm so awkward at this. I apologize. Anyways, I hope you guys are having an amazing day, a wonderful life, wherever you are. I love you all very, very much. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!